Hey there, how's it going everybody? Hey, we finished the solar pumping system. Uh, it took us about a day and a half roughly to get this whole thing done. Uh, although I had about four hours of driving just to get here and I got a four hours to go to get home. It's Saturday, I'm ready to get home. Uh, and uh, we got Mother's Day tomorrow. Happy Mother's Day to any ladies that are watching the channel. Uh, but here we go. So basically this is just a four panel system, 175 watt. These are uh, top point modules. Get everything from wholesale solar. Uh, we got the CU200 from Grunfoss, which has the float level sensor kind of built into it so we don't overflow the tanks. My solar pump, uh, a lot of the, and a lot of the other ones I do, they just fill up all the way and then usually over open head discharge into a pond or something else. So it's not something I've really done a lot of the float switches, so it's kind of fun. But uh, the customers, again, built this rack, and uh, this thing is super stout. I just did all the electrical and the solar for them. Um, so basically, we're going down the CU200. Coming over here into the well, uh, we did a pitless setup. They have a high freeze danger here, so the water's coming out about 30 inches below grade. So we set this thing on poly pipe and uh, dropped the pump down today and then finished all the electrical. Um, also back behind me over here, let's go look at the, at the tank setup. They, uh, they use these tires and mainly just to kind of combat freezing. Uh, I guess the thought is that as it freezes, they expand a little bit and they won't fracture the tanks where some of the metal tanks will break uh, or a standard concrete tank. So it's kind of interesting to see this setup and uh, I think I might put one in my house just for fun. Uh, so what they got, this is the primary tank with the float switch. You can see all that's in there. The uh, this tire gets full, the float switch rises, then it activates the CU200 saying, hey, we're full, shut off. So back to this tank, uh, we got the tall pipe, which is gonna be cut down and, and turned with a 90. That'll be the fill from the solar pump. And then this first pipe right here, um, each, this goes down and then tees into the other tanks. And then that'll be the balance so that everything fills up evenly. So, you know, it's gonna be a neat setup. I can't run it yet. Uh, they got wet concrete in tank number two and uh, they're getting ready to pour the first one. So they didn't want me to flood it. So I can't show you guys it working, unfortunately. But uh, this thing's all ready to go, and it sure turned out to be a nice system. So, you can see it right there. But, again, hey, thanks for watching my kind of little vlog update. And uh, I kind of did something a little bit different. I don't usually do, like, rapid bursts uh, of videos on a project. So I thought I'd just show you guys something different because this is a fun one. Uh, and then this next week, I'm st I got a big project. I'm doing 42 panels with in-phase. Uh, solar world modules and I'm using the midnight combiner, which is pretty cool looking So I'll get you guys some videos of that next week. So hey, thanks again for watching my videos and uh, Talking about stuff. Uh, I've enjoy enjoyed doing that. That's why I make these if you got questions ask away and I'll see you guys next week Have a great weekend